Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening. Excellent. So thank you very much for being here um, on time. I truly appreciate it, right? So how was your day? That's fine. It was fine. Great. Excellent. So Nelson, now it seems to be that you will be able to participate, right? Sorry? You will be able to participate tonight. Is that correct? Yes, I, I think so. I think. Because I remember I hope yesterday you couldn't participate. I feel, I, I feel a little uh, Yes, I, I was sick, teacher. Oh, I see. And how do you feel now? Sorry for that. Oh, no, no worries. Uh -huh. How do you I feel? I feel better. Oh, you feel better. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right. And what about you, Erica? How are you tonight? Hello. A little bit tired. Oh, but it's Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Yes. Oh, sorry for you. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> just, not, just, just six to twelve. Oh, yeah, it's like part-time. So, Tomorrow, part-time. Yes. Yeah, I know. All right. Awesome, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. All right. Mr. Luda, good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? All right. So how was your day? Do you have a day off also today? Yes. Uh, my day off is today. Yes, was today. Oh, awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. That's nice. Relax at my home. <laughs> Ah, that's nice. All right. Well, uh, let's see who else is in um, the class already. All right. So I can see here Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Good evening. Hello, teacher. All right. And how are you tonight? Um, Mm. I'm a little tired, but I'm fine. <laughs> uh, but don't worry. Today is Friday, right? So you will have an opportunity to rest during the weekend. Or do you work on weekends? No. So you see, it's the last day <laughs> we can go to rest, all right? Isela, good evening. Hello, good night, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I can see also uh, Ivan. Hello, Ivan or Ivan. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh, you're driving? Yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem. Watch out, all right? Okay. <laughs> thank hello. you, thank you. So who else is joining the class here? So I can see um, Joelman. Joelman, good evening, Joelman. And also Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Ready for today's class? Yeah. All right. Awesome. So, well, let's just start right now here. So we are going to be working on this one. One second here. Mm -hmm. Well, let me try to share my screen here. Let's see. Awesome. Let me know if you can see my screen, people. It's loading, apparently. Yeah, it should be there already. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes, right now. Excellent. So everybody, as you know, I like to start the class with tongue twisters so we can activate our English language, right? And our English skills. All right. So with the pronunciation of an amazing tongue twister, like the one we have right here. All right. So then this one, it's not that difficult, actually, right? It's very simple. Let me just read it for you. All right. So to check the pronunciation and then you guys are going to uh, practice it for a couple of minutes and then I will have some volunteers to read this tongue twister. It says here, how much wood would a woodchuck, sorry, you see, I already made a mistake. Oh my God. All right, so let's see. It says, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he wood as much as he could. 
and chuck as much wood as he would chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Oof, I did it. All right. So, all right. So that's actually what you need to uh, practice right here. Now, here you need to actually remember the pronunciation of certain words like this one. All right. Wood. Everybody, wood. Hello, hello. Woods. Oh, what's that reaction, Vanessa? You're kind of worried then. <laughs> You're going to be the first volunteer. <laughs> All right. So this one right here, it will be also wood. Wood. And then this one right here is chuck. Like if you have a letter O there, remember? Chuck. So how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? All right. So that's actually the, the tricky part there. So the very similar sounds that those words have. All right. So let's see. Right now, everybody, please. Uh, I will give you right now just two minutes as last night. Right. So you can practice these tongue twisters and then we can start. I'm going to set here the timer for two minutes, which is already here. Timer, timer. All right, and two minutes starting now. Practice, 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 practice. All right, practice the pronunciation. So when the time stops, I'm going to choose the volunteers here. All right, so practice, practice. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as he would chuck wood if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Ah, I did it now. All right without making mistakes, that's nice, all right? So let's see, let's see, let's see the team. All right, let's see this one here. One minute and 20 seconds. You still have one minute and 20 seconds. All right. This is difficult, teacher. That's not difficult. Actually, yes, yeah, this one was more difficult. Chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? First volunteer. <laughs> right, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is. Do you think it's harder than yesterday's stunt twister? A little bit because of the wood chuck, wood chuck, wood chuck, wood chuck, wood chuck, wood. Chuck, wood. <laughs> the second line. If I would chuck to chuck with. Correct. Correct. Too much correct. Okay. So let's see here. One minute, one minute, one minute. Let's see here. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. All right, excellent. So now, do we have a volunteer here, ladies and gentlemen? Who's gonna be? the bravest volunteer tonight. So let's see. <gasps> Nobody wants to. Somebody open the microphone. Who was it? <gasps> Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. It's right. All right. Go ahead, please. Okay. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would as much as we could and shook as much wood as a wood shook wood if a wood shook could shook wood. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. You know what? It was going to be almost perfect, but this one right here. You see that word? I'm pointing this one. This one is supposed to be chuck with like the pronunciation of a letter O. You got it? Chuck. All right, excellent. So try one more time, please. Okay. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck? Wood chuck, si está bien, o es wood chuck también. It's the same, it's the same word, it's the same sound. 
Oke. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, he would chuck, he would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Awesome. Very good. Excellent. You see, and you didn't want to be the volunteer at the beginning, right? So, Vanessa, good job. I really like it. So you corrected and then you did it very good. So now, Vanessa, you have the power to choose the next volunteer since you were my first volunteer. All right. So go ahead. Who's the next person? No, Daniel. 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 That's Mr. Luna, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. How much wool would a wool chuck chuck? If a wool chuck wool chuck wool, he will chuck he wool as a, as much as he could and chuck as much wool as a wool chuck wool. If a wool chuck wool chuck wool. Okay, very good, excellent. All right, so you were doing a very good job on this one. All right, so it was actually. Um, good. All right. So you did it. Good, good, good. Thank you, Daniel. So who's the next person? Erica. Hello, Erica. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. That was just like, oh my God. All right. So. Yeah. Oh my God. Why? <laughs> so come on, Erica. It's for you to wake up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, please go ahead. Okay. You can do it. It is, it is like a wrap. <laughs> yeah. How much wood? Okay, it says, How much wood will a wood chuck chuck? If a wood chuck will chuck wood, he will chuck wood as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a wood chuck wood. If a wood chuck could chuck wood. Awesome. <laughs> like a wrap. <laughs> okay, so. There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that was actually nice. You did it wonderfully, right? So <laughs> uh, you see, you were complaining at the beginning and at the end, you were able to do it without any mistake. All right. Good job. Who's next? Okay. My jacket. I love the Adriana's voice. So, Adriana. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Okay. And then Adriana is like, well, thank you, but not thank you. <laughs> okay. How much will, will sorry, how much will, will a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? He will chuck, he will as much as he could and chuck as much wool as as wood chuck chuck <laughs> wool a wood chuck could. <laughs> Chuck, what? <laughs> oh my God. So we have like some difficulties in the last two lines. Well, I guess you have to repeat again. Okay, again. <laughs> yes, please. How much will wool a wool chuck chuck if a wood will chuck could chuck wood? He will chuck, he will as much as he could and chuck as much wool as wool chuck. Would if I would chuck cold chuck wood. All right, that was actually very good, better than the first one. So good job. At the end, you were able to also uh, pronounce it correctly, right? So thank you and thank you for trying. That's the most important part here. All right. So now let's see who's the next one. Please help me with that. Mm, let me see. Mm. Ruth. <laughs> Okay, Zella. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, time to participate. Go ahead. Okay. How much good will a good talk talk if a good talk could talk good? He will talk, he will as a much as a cool and talk as much good, a much good as a good talk good if a good talk good. Oh my God. So, you know, you started like with English and you ended up like in French, <laughs> right? All right. So let's see. <laughs> let's do Don't worry. Let's try it again. All right. So remember like this work right here. So one second, this one's right here. 
it's just like uh this one is wood wood very similar wood 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 chuck chuck how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood all right try one more time okay how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood he will chuck he will as much up as he will as he could and chuck as much good as a god a good to go if i would chuck cold chuck good awesome <laughs> very good very good very good all right so remember just the recommendation right here it would be like for example when you have uh this word like this one so i heard you were saying something like you said something like good like for example the pronunciation that you mentioned there it was like good all right, but that's not correct actually because good. it would be just like this one. Good. Repeat it. Okay. Good. Just wood. Repeat it. Good. No. Good. No, not G. So you're you are saying, for example, you, you're saying good, but this is not correct. Okay. Okay. So the correct pronunciation is just wood. Wood. All right. So yes. Ooh. Thank you. We need to practice How much that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. But overall, that was actually a very good job. So thank you. You did it wonderfully as well. Okay. So let's see here. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So please. Uh, let me tell you something. I have a double screen here. So sometimes I forget that the camera is here and I only see to this screen. So I, I'm sorry, like, if you see me, like, looking into a different direction, okay? But let's see. Uh, now we are going to go here with a presentation slash test. But don't worry, it's going to be an easy test to see if you have been paying attention during the whole class uh, that we have been talking about the... Um, millennials right so yeah i know it's like the whole week of millennials but today's class yeah related but not the same all right so let's see here let me just try to say here something quickly all right all right there you go this one one second i will share my screen again in a moment so you will see It is loading right now, so you might be able to see it now. Can you see that? Well, right now it's just loading, right? So let's just wait for it to be ready. You are mute? I don't know. No, I'm not. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You but can? I am. Yes, I'm hearing your picture. Can you? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, let's see. Oh my goodness! No, 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 imagine. no, it's it's loading. It says it's loading. So okay. this circle arrow, teacher. Yes, it's true. Hello, Hector. By the way. Hello, teacher. Sorry because I yesterday can't connect because work. Don't worry, don't worry. I completely understand that part. So I work in Amina de Sal. <laughs> well, how is that possible? <laughs> well, oh, well, oh, I remember you're working with Erica. Right? No, no, no Erica. No, no. Oh no, that's Ivan. Sorry. Ah. What happened for me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who invoked me? <laughs> about me all right so let's see let's see if you can see now it's supposed to be loading do you see that yeah all right yes. so, let me see I'm going to copy this here 
in the in the chat here in Zoom. So you can just click on it. And then you can go. All right, the link is in the chat. Join so you can see this next with me with me here, right? Let me know when you can join the, the online class, okay? You have to click on the link that I sent. I have Adriana, very good, Adriana. Isela, Carpio, very good. Fatima. Very good, very good. Daniel. Okay, so I have five people. And how many people I have here? Like 11, no. 10 people. Oh, yes, 10 people. All right, I'm missing two. So I have Samantha, Nelson, Hector, Daniel, Fatima, Carpio, Isela, and Adriana. Who's missing, people? Joelman is here. Now who else is missing? Hello, everybody else. Oh, I guess Ivan is driving, right? Okay, let's start right now. Okay, let's see. Well, we are going to talk about the generations, right? So generations... It says they're in America, right? You know, understand that America will be like the United States, even though America is a whole continent. That's actually how we say, I mean, how we call that country, right? The United States of America. And uh, let's say this one right here. I want you to pay attention, first of all, to the image that you can see here, the beginning, right? So can you see that interesting picture over there? All right, so which is like coming from being a little child to become an adult, you know, getting older and now a senior citizen. All right, so that's, would you like to have a picture like that? Or not? Hello, hello. There ain't no problem. All right, so let's just continue. Let's just start with this one right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so in your screen, you should be able to see um, this one as well. All right. In, um, let's just go ahead and skip this one. All right, excellent. So remember that if you actually... Um, have questions you can do you can use this one all right to say it all right so well we are going to be uh, working on this one in the generations right so i was telling you before this is a very interesting picture to me as you can see there that you know different um you know pictures from different times of his life right so let's just go for this one right here it says here analyze that that's what we're going to be working on this one so analyze how multiple texts reflect historical and or cultural context right at the end you will be able to identify the different generations in america and uh, also different um you know identify ways culture has changed from generation to generation because let me tell you something do you think that the culture has changed from the previous generations to the current generations people or it's the same culture? Oh, it's a different culture. It's a different culture, all right. So for example, Daniel, um, why would you say that? Because, um, okay, um, for example, in America, we use American native, or Latin, or Latin America, I don't know how to Latin say. America, correct. Okay, Latin, uh, not, native, native. Oh, native, native, native American, native, native. native American. Uh, for example, in USA, Correct. Native American um, and from Europe is coming one man or woman and in how say have a relationship with a na Native American. Correct. Uh, 
the song of this couple. Couple. It's a couple. It's a. Uh, it's another cultural. Uh, which, uh, this this this. Yeah, this song or yeah, this song have another cultural context because the mother is from Europe and the father is from America. I think. Right. Yeah, the, the combination of both those of both uh, father. That's father and mother. Father and mother, exactly, right? That's a very interesting yeah. fact talking about like American culture, right? So, and we live also something similar here in the United States. I mean, in, in El Salvador, all right? So yeah. that's very similar. And, and we have two different cultures right now. So we were practicing, and you know, the mix of cultures that we have here, it's interesting because we combine them like some Christian uh, traditions with some uh, native traditions that they were different before the Christian people came to our continent, all right? So thank you for sharing that, mister. So now let's just go ahead and answer one question right here. So everybody will have to go and select a question here, all right? Let's say this one. People, please answer the question that you can see on your screens. You have 25 seconds, please. It's just a, a, a survey. What's your favorite social media platform? Okay. Hmm. So like three, four, seven, eight. We're missing two people. Okay, okay. Time's up. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody who participated there. So it seems to be that according to your answers, right? Um, your favorite social network uh, or your social media platform, it's Facebook, all right? So very good. Can someone tell me why is Facebook your favorite social media platform? Who can tell me why my, did you select Facebook? In my case, it's my, was my first social media platform all right. in my case. Okay, so you're saying that in your case it's because it was the first one. Very good. And what about the rest? Let me see who... who... For me, teacher, I like it because you can watch some news mm -hmm. or maybe you can find some pages that, um, that post like, like serious and you can watch it. It's true, it's true. In, that, in, That's in true. Facebook. <laughs> I or like, movies or something like that. I was about yeah. to say that. I couldn't agree more exactly. with you. Sometimes you can watch movies for free. Yeah. I watch in a, lot, a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Right. So that's why I like Facebook too. All right. From the people who um, chose Instagram, can you tell me why did you select that social network, that social media platform? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hello. All right. A little bit, you said the platform in my case. Which one did you select? Oh, my favorite platform is uh, Facebook. Oh, Instagram. Facebook. Yeah, Face, uh, Instagram, no, 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 no more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> and mm. it's, uh, excuse me <laughs> yeah, no, not, not much exactly not that much all right so thank you thank you for correcting uh that all right so that was actually uh, interesting all right so in uh, uh -huh, three people chose instagram so now tell me why you chose that do you like instagram people in general or not hello hello yeah, what do you say, uh, Erica? Excuse me, Erica. I can hear you. Can Can Teacher, everybody else? Can everybody else hear me? Teacher, I cannot hear you. Maybe it's my internet. Uh, 
What about the rest? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Teacher, me voy a desconectar y ya me regreso porque no le escucho. But, yes, please. Oh, yeah. Okay, great, excellent. So, let's see. Uh, Vanessa, which network did you select? I selected Facebook. Oh, all right. Oh, you were the one telling me about the movies, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so let's see. Let me go for this one right here. All right. Joelman, what social uh, media platform did you choose? Facebook. Ah, really? Facebook. Okay, I got four. So I got Daniel, Vanessa, Hector, and you. So no more can tell me Facebook. All right, so no one else can tell me Facebook. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Adriana, which one did you choose? Instagram. <laughs> ah, you see, and I was asking for people who like Instagram. <laughs> you didn't tell me anything. All right, so tell me, why do you like that social network? Because I love the algorithm uh, from for me Instagram because there are a lot of profiles who uh, share very, very interesting uh, content about different things of my area, for example, about design and marketing and call, calling. And I like to learn from that kind of content so while i am spending time in in instagram also i can i can learn different things all right excellent thank you all right you know what uh oh well by the way thank you for that sharing that information all right uh you know what i thought that many people here were going to choose tiktok because you cannot deny that you're using tiktok also people or you don't use it. Who uses TikTok here? I use only for watching. <laughs> so, but do you use do you use um Facebook more than TikTok or vice versa? No, I use more Facebook. In okay. Facebook, I, I I I share pictures about my hobby, pictures of my family, and videos, funny videos. But TikTok is only for watch when I know, when I don't have uh, things to do. <laughs> it's for, for, for say, for kill the time, for matar el tiempo. For the time, all right. Yes, exactly, yes. In Facebook, it's, it's, it's much for or sharing with my family okay. and family and friends family yeah. and friends that's correct all right thank you thank you for sharing all those things and all those comments about the social networks all right so let's just continue with the next one ladies and gentlemen you see that one all right so do you recognize this social media icon we're talking about this one here this one this one do you recognize a social media icon this one right here? I seem to guess. I was thinking it's, it's LinkedIn, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I get confused. <laughs> okay. So let's see. All right. All right. What does it say? You want me to like zoom in? This is the icon. All right. Do you recognize it? Well, to see, I think. Okay, <laughs> look at this one. So from seven people who participated in the survey, four people said no and three people said yes. From the people who said yes, can you tell me what it's that social media icon? What does it represent? I think this hi-fi. Okay, high five. One option, no. one possibility. <laughs> Which one is it? No, no, no high five. My space. My space. Oh, yes, no. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> 
All right. I went wrong. I went wrong. <laughs> all right. All right. MySpace. So MySpace, MySpace, MySpace. All right. That's true. When you talk about MySpace.com, that's actually what it comes from, right? MySpace was actually one of the first social media platforms that existed, right? It was actually before Facebook, before Facebook. And it was all also at the same time that Hi-Fi. Uh, Hi-Fi was more popular in Latin America than MySpace. Then MySpace became very popular because artists were using them, I mean, were using it to promote their music. For example, I remember that you can look for uh, the MySpace profile of singers and you can listen to music from that profile, right? The new albums, um, to watch videos, etc. right? It was very similar to Facebook, actually. But for some reason, when Facebook appeared, nobody else used MySpace, MySpace anymore. And I'm not sure if is this still available. Um, have you used it? Have you ever seen that before? Did you create a profile on MySpace.com? Yes, I, I need to steal online. Oh, do you still use it? Yes, yes. And the, 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 the page is still working. Oh, really? And, and, and what's... How does it look like right now? Because it's like, it's been a while since I remember. It's different. Pretty different since the beginning. Really? And, and Pretty different. If you can compare it to Facebook, would you say it's similar now or totally different from Facebook? Yeah, kind of, kind of similar, but it's more like to, uh, how to say it? Uh, like connect to people with the same interests. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so, well, now that you're mentioning that you use MySpace, perhaps you remember this. Mm -hmm. All right. This is, yeah. and you know what? When you created, when you created um, a profile, you sign up, um, you know, on MySpace, you automatically have your first friend. And he was this guy, Tom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, because like, remember when you create Facebook, a Facebook account, so you need to look for your friends and send requests and everything else. But on MySpace, this guy right here was your first friend automatically. All right, so which is, I guess it is just like, like the MySpace creator or anything like that, all right? Uh, but it says right here, you know, this one, as you can see here, it was back in like 2006, 2006, right there, all right? So, you know, I'm just curious, and, let me, and if you don't mind, I would like to ask you, for example, uh, Joelman, how old were you in 2006? Uh, 2006. Uh, uh, six. six years old in 2006. Is that true? Yes. Oh my God, imagine you were only six years old and many people here in the class already had a MySpace profile, all right? So, and, you know, as I said before, basically it's just, um, you know, about some options that they had here before, like the ones you can see here, you could send messages, what now on Facebook would call inbox, all right? Or how do you call the inbox in Instagram, people? Let's see if you know that vocabulary. DM. DM, which is an abbreviation yeah. for? Sorry, what? And, Sorry. No, you said DM, but that's an abbreviation for what? Uh, direct message. Direct message, exactly. All right. So then you have the option to add friends, uh, instant message, which is basically like a chat. All right. Uh, up to group, right? When you wanted to like belong to a different group. 
forward to friends. You know, this one, it's like what we know now as share on Facebook, right? Compartir. So you can actually forward to friends and you can send all the information to your friends so they can see it. Add to Facebook, favorite, sorry, which is the same as bookmarks as we have on Facebook right now. Yeah, when we have people who we need to want to talk about, so we could block them. All right, so we have the option to, and then uh, rank the user to give like, um, you know, score and how trustful was this person. And one of the things that people like about MySpace is that they could have their own URL like a professional website, like www.myspace.com slash fulanito de tal, right? And that was like the presentation of like people had, like I have my own profile on MySpace. I'm a professional on MySpace, et cetera, right? So let me ask you a question, people. Do you use I mean, social media platforms in a professional way or just for personal usage? Just LinkedIn. Oh, just LinkedIn, like in a professional way. Yeah, LinkedIn, the the right. app, LinkedIn. Right, but mm -hmm. any other any other social uh, media platform, it's just for personal usage. Then. Teco loco. Teco loco. <laughs> all right. Yep, you have to create a profile and then and sound like a Salvadorian version of LinkedIn. All right. Okay, very good. So thank you for sharing that. Oh, things that you could actually say here, it's just like, uh, you know, personal things, etc. right? So let's just continue here and let's just go to the next one. I have a question for you here. Let me just see this one. I want you to, this is for you to enter. So to answer, you're going to, Answer the question right here. What comes to your mind when you hear the word generation? I want you to give me a short answer. What is generation for you? Generation, generation, generation. What is it? What is it for mm. you? Style as life. Huh? Style as life. Lifestyle. Excuse me. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. All right. Great. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Generation is a lot of a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people. Uh huh. What else? Yes, yes, yes. I need you to like tell me more. A lot of people. What else does it come to you about when you hear the word generation? Hello, hello, people. Tell me. Hello. I just heard Ivan and Daniel. What about the rest? Such as Isela, Samantha, Fatima. Uh -huh. Hector, Joelman, Jamie, Adriana. What does it actually, the word generation mean to you? Hello, hello. Type the answer, teacher, or or um boys. Boys, boys. please. Okay, uh, boys. This one right here. It could be a way of think, a history of family, a K-pop girl band. That's generation. Okay, K-pop girl band. <laughs> K-pop girl. Band. Who was uh -huh. that? Okay, healthy life style. Yeah, what else is right here? Belief and values according to the context. One, dice aquí, Isela. <laughs> All right, so one what, Isela? All right. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to choose like this one right here, which is this like K-pop girl band. It caught my attention because I, I'm afraid I don't understand what does it mean. Can you tell me? <laughs> yes. When I was 11 or 12 years old, it was a girl band that called, uh, the name was Girls Generation. Okay. And it was the first K-pop band 
the sounds around the world with the sun third generation actually it was a song oh, really? a song night oh, yes well, i'm learning something new so i didn't know about it if in the source they have have your fever fiebre hangulo or something like that because okay. we know more about south korea asia and that culture all right great Thank you. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Now it makes sense, right? Because you're saying that to you, it's just like the generation, right? So now that you mentioned that, that makes me remember. I don't know, guys, if you remember that, but um, in my generation, when I was a, a, a teenager, right? So uh, there was a very famous singer from France. Her name was Alize. Have you ever heard about her? No? Yes, it's a French girl. It's a French singer, correct. And she was like the Dua Lipa from my generation. Everybody loved her because she was very pretty. Gorgeous girl. Huh? Gorgeous girl. A gorgeous girl. A gorgeous girl, right. Yeah, she was so beautiful, all right? So and beautiful. She, yeah, I, I didn't speak French and I never understood what she was singing, but I like her. What is the name the the the, the most uh, the most singer? Like the most famous song, you mean? Uh, yes, yes, song. Oh my goodness. Uh well, it's in French, so I don't know what is it. But she, I remember she was also singing La Isla Bonita. Ah, it's a. Este. Madonna. No, no, no. Madonna is an original original song. Correct. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, sure. the, the 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 singer uh, Alice this uh, say, yeah Alice uh, the, the mention uh, the coach the como se dice uh, sacó una versión version right she uh, she has a, another version she has a new version she yeah. has another version right that's true that's true and she was very popular right she was actually very yeah. popular uh, it was French, and as I said before, it was like the Dua Lipa from my generation, of course. Yeah. All right, so that she had actually a um, a, uh, she was very popular back in the days, but now I don't know what happens with her, so I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's still alive, if she got married, if she got babies, anything like that. All right, Ali Se, that's actually what we we're just talking about. Let me see if I can show you here about here let's see all right so let's see so it's just like this one i'm trying to show you right now Okay, just for just for sharing, like like to understand what we're talking about right here. Let's see if you can see it. That's the singer I was talking about. Yes, yes. Do you remember her? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. Right? So yes. Of course. It, 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 this one is actually um one of the most popular videos, right? Let's see if you can see it there. All right, this one. Remember that. Yeah, remember. All right, awesome. So, why, well, yeah, yeah, no more, no more, no more. Go back to the class, right? <laughs> but, good, excellent. So, it was just for you to, to know that one. Now that Erica mentioned that about the K pop bun, so I remember the Dua Lipa from my generation. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for sharing your answers. Let's just continue here. Yes, I know, computer, that they haven't participated, but let's continue. Okay, what did I get here? Teacher. Yes. I I, I had a little a little problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am in class and I forgot uh come back to the the question. Oh, 
That's why it says right here that one. Don't worry, don't worry, okay? Okay, excellent. So let's see. We are going to continue with this one right now. So we have this one right here, generation. Can someone help me to read the first the first uh, line there, people? Who can help me with that one? Hello? Read, teacher. Yes, reading, please. I could. Uh, All okay. of generation. Okay, let's, do something. let's do something. Hector, go with the first one. Ivan, go with the second one. Okay. Oh. okay, ready. All right, go ahead, Hector. Thank you. Thank you. Generation. Um, all of the people born and living at about the same time, regarded mm -hmm. collectively. 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 Thank you very much. Ivan, your turn. Okay, the average period generally considered to be about uh, 20, 30 years during which children are born and grow, grow up, be become adults and begin to have children. Thank you very much. Excellent. And who can help me with the last one? What would you for the last one, please? A group of people designated by a major event in their cultural history. History, thank you. Just remember, uh, Daniel, it's defined. Repeat it. It's defined. Defined, thank you very much, all right? So now that's it, that's actually generation. So you were, if you, if you uh, pay attention to what you can see here, you were actually saying something similar in your own words, right? Group of people born in a specific time uh, or period of time, right? So like a 20 to 30 years generation, right, etc. So let's see this one. Now, let me know you and let's see this one. So we have a question here. Pay attention, people, and answer that question. The question is this one. What is the name of your generation? Do you remember that? We were studying that a couple of days ago, all right? So which is your generation? Are you a baby boomer? Are you a generation X? Are you a millennial? Are you a generation alpha? Which I don't think so. Or are you a generation <laughs> Z? Which one are you? Hmm? In my case, generation X. Generation. I was born in 1979. All right, uh, excellent. So. Let's see this one. So I have Generation X and a lot of millennials in the class, including the teacher. Oops. All right. So let's see this one right here. Okay. So we have millennials and we have Generation X. All right. So, but as you can see, we have actually more millennials here. That is what we were studying yesterday, right? When he was saying that um, the generations, uh, the, gener the millennials are taking over the generation to be like the biggest amount of people. Now, all right, thank you for sharing that. Let's say this one. Well, here we have, just for you to understand this one. So if you didn't know what your um generation was, so you have this one right here, all right? So we're talking about the different generations, all right? Uh, so let's see, and it says like, uh, for example, the builders, builders, builders generation or the silent generation, as some people call it. Uh, are the people who are older, uh, I mean, 71 years or older, right? Could be like our grandparents, sometimes baby boomers, someone who is currently uh, between 52 and 70 years old. So are you sure I don't have a baby boomer here in the class? No baby boomers? All right, no problem. All right, so let's see. Now, Generation X, between 37 and 51 years old. Oh my God. So here we have a, a Generation X. Some people say that you are the Generation X. Then we have the Generation Y. The Generation Y is what we call here millennials, all right? It's the same, all right? Which are like between 22 and 36 years old, all right? Uh, oh my goodness, check into these numbers. I almost, I'm almost a generation X. I'm closer to generation X than to generation Y. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. Um, we go on this one here, generation Z, all right? Which are like people 
you know, from between seven and 21 years old. All right. And also we have here the generation alpha, which are the new kids, you know, all the kids under seven years old. All right. So it's going to be the generation alpha. All right. So that's just for your general knowledge. So let's just continue with this one right here and see what's next. Okay. 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 Now, people, we are going to, to talk a little bit more about the five generations working side by side uh, in the 2020s, is supposed to say there. All right. So uh, the traditionalist, right? So, and as you can see here, and I want you to pay attention to this part here, as you can see it, like this one. All right, right there. Let me know if you can see this one, because this one includes includes um, events that happens in history in every generation. So we can see this one. So for example, for the traditionalist, like people born between 1900 and 1945, all right? So they live like the Great Depression, the World War II, they were disciplined, they work, they had workplace loyalty, right? So because I don't know if you remember, right? But um, your grandparents, they work in the same place their whole life. They never change their job, all right? So, uh, and they moved to the Borms, all right? And, and they, you know, they saw all the vaccines created, right? Do you remember what is vaccines? Vaccine. What is vaccines? Vacuna. Las vacunas. So it's this word right here, mm -hmm. the vaccines. All right. So great. Excellent. So what about the baby boomers? So the baby boomers actually um, a little bit younger. That could be our parents. All right. So they were um, able to live different things like the Vietnam War, the moon landing. All right. You know what is the moon landing, people? This one right here? Yes. Yes. Yeah. When the first man was walking on the moon. Right. Apollo and, 11. Excuse me? Apollo 11. Apollo 11, correct. Thank you. All right. So also civil and women rights. So remember, believe it or not, I will say like 60 or 70 years ago, women couldn't vote. We couldn't imagine having women as candidates for president or for any other position in politics because that was not permitted, right? They are experimental, they are innovators, they are hardworking people for sure, all right? And uh, they use personal computers. They use computers a lot. They prefer laptops actually, or any type of computer, but computers more than phones. That's what this is describing here. Now let's go to the next one. The next one right here, it will be about the generation X, which could be also some of our parents, right? Um, this is a very interesting generation, which in my personal opinion, they lived uh, one of the generations with many, many, many changes in the world. Talking about technology, talking about um, historical situations, etc. right? They saw the fall of the Berlin Wall. In what country was the Berlin Wall located, people? In what country? Germany. Germany. Germany, very good, excellent. Oh, Jamie, good evening. All right, so <laughs> then we have like the Gulf War. This is an American uh, war, the coming war. Uh, they are very independent. They are free agents, all right. Uh, they saw the beginning of NTB people, NTB, all right. <laughs> yeah, but the good NTB, right? When the famous got... channel. It, there was a music channel, right? I remember. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not from the game. any any That's... any 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 music any music. Nowadays, no, right? But in the past, it was full music. Remember, the were the 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 best uh, in the channel on TV. Uh, remember um, the music, uh, music rock, uh, for example, grunge, heavy metal. Nirvana, Pearl Jam, South Garden, so like that. Correct. This is 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 a, a the moda. How do you say moda? It was a trend. trend. It was a trend. trend. It was, it a, was trend. a trend. Yes, I remember. So like 
Michael Jackson, Madonna, Janet Jackson, Cindy Lauper, Cher, and all those famous and popular singers from the 80s when MTV started, right? And then I have a question for you people. Do you know the meaning of this word? Well, this abbreviation actually. Yes. What is it? Can you tell me? Uh, Something acquire immunodef diabetes. In immunodeficiency syndrome. Right. So, Something like that. <laughs> simple words, HBI. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In simple words, HBI. So that's actually something not good to talk about. But yeah, this generation so uh when this uh, started, right? Sure. And, um, then you go on the next one. So and this generation now it's full, full, full fan of mobile phones, right? They love to Thank use you. their phones a lot. And you can mm -hmm. see that on the public transportation. When you get on the bus, like everybody. Everybody is checking the phone, right? So <laughs> that's true. Let's just talk about like the next one right here, all right? Which is just like that, millennials. The millennials, which is the majority of us right here, all right? And <laughs> what are like the, the events that we have to see, all right? So for example, uh, the 9 11 attacks. Right, so 9-11 attacks, we saw that mm -hmm. one in 2001. Um, it changed the world dramatically. All right, so um, I just, I, I don't know if you remember that, but I was in my school on that day when the, the things happened in the United States, right? With that tragic tragedy happened in the United States. And I remember my school canceled classes, right? They say, go back home because we don't know if we're gonna have something like that in the country. All right, so people imagine like the third war world, I mean, uh, world war, sorry. Then um, it says here that we do a lot of community service. All right, so and this is actually true, what we're saying here. They like here to have immediacy, like everything quickly. All right, we were talking about that a couple of days ago. Uh, we are very confident, all right? Uh, we believe in uh, diversity. And, uh, you know, social, everything on Google, on Facebook, et cetera. So like that, all right? Because I can tell you something. Please confirm if you have done this before. When you are sick and you have some symptoms, do you go to the doctor or do you Google the symptoms? Google. <laughs> right. So you Google the doctors and then you got the surprise like, oops. You are about to, mm -mm. and then you get worried because like you got something that it might not be correct. And then lastly here, we have the generation 2020, it says right here. All right, which is like after 1997, which are like, you know, younger, optimistic with a lot of expectations. They know how to use a lot of apps. Uh, they are social gamers. And they use tablet devices like that or, you know, a lot of things, right? So they are like completely um, familiar with that technology right here, all right? So thank you for sharing that. Do you have any question about the vocabulary we just shared here? No? Okay, excellent. So remember, uh, by the way, you know, millennials have different names here. We are called the Generation Y. We are called the millennials. We are called the generation 9-11. So sometimes in the United States, they call it the generation 9-11 because of the 9-11 um, attacks. So just in case that you see something like that before, I mean later. Oh. Let's just go on this one. Now we are going to like go on this one right here so we can get into details right here, all right? So I need a volunteer who helped me uh, to read about the shopping events or the important events in life here for the silent generation, all right? So who can help me with this one? Shopping uh, events. Shaping, sorry, shaping events. What about you, Joe, man? So you can just help me read this one. Go ahead, please. Teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, when you when you talk with Ava about NTV, uh, 
you just uh, talk about grunge bands. Grunge bands? Just. Yes, Pearl Jam and Nirvana and and Sun Garden. Uh, that uh, those are just grunge bands. Okay, all right. And, and, and I'm sorry. I'm I'm afraid I'm not familiar with the term. What's the meaning of branch band? Branch. Uh -huh. Oh, well, uh, it's a it's a a, big, a large history, but it's a, a the when the you you know the 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 kind of music gland. Mm -hmm. Land is like Guns N' Roses. Oh. Guns N Roses. Yes. Uh, Nirvana, uh, the grunge was different. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, I was listening to that type of music and I didn't even know they have that name. So, thank you for that. It's, it's grunge. All right. So, well, thank you, my friend. Now, please help me read the shaping events. Okay. Uh, shaping events. Uh, great Depre depression. Great depression. Mm -hmm. World war. Um, World war. Uh, second. World war second. Huh? Second. Rat. Ratio. Rationing. Rationing. Um. Media consum. Consumption. Media. Consumption. Traditional media like television, radio, magazine, and newspaper mm. gradually giving into the pursuit to switch mm -hmm. to the digital age. Uh, Fifteen percent had Facebook in twenty twenty uh twenty twelve. So, uh, twenty-eight percent had Facebook in twenty nineteen. In twenty nineteen, very good, excellent. And the last one, please. Uh, banking habits, face-to-face -face transitions, transactions, mm -hmm. transactions, mistress mm -hmm. of banks and credit cards and online shopping and digit digital. Transitions. Transactions. Transactions. <laughs> Almost exclusively use exclusively use cash and checks. Thank you checks. very much. Right. So basically, what this is telling you, it's like that could be like our grandparents, right? Our grandparents actually uh, they don't like to use, for example, online banking. They actually will say, "No, thank you. I will never use." And online banking they don't like technology they don't trust technology and they say that that is actually some an unsafe place all right the majority of the people from this generation are around 72 years old you know and other names for these generations are builders matures and the mickey mouse generation you know because they saw the creation of mickey mouse all right so let's say this one next one the baby boomers. Let's talk about the baby boomers, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Who wants to help me? Um, you know, with this one right here. Volunteer for reading. Can I? Of course, Jamie, please go ahead. Shaping events. Post WW. That is like the war, the war, I mean, the world war. Uh, first, second world war. Mm -hmm. You see? Optimist, big name, cold war, moon landing, and the hippie movement. The hippie movement, imagine, right? Continue, please. Media, con media consumption. Media consumption. Media consumption. Baby boomers are the biggest consumers of traditional media like television, radio, magazines, and newspaper. Despite being so traditional, 
90% of baby boomers have a Facebook account. This generation has begun to adopt more technology in order to stay in touch with family members and reconnect with old friends. Baking habit. Boomer, boomer prefer to go into a branch to perform transactions. This generational cohort still prefer to use cash, especially for purchases, especially for purchases under five dollars. Under five dollars. Thank you. Right. So. Yes, that's what they say. They don't like to use um, neither the banking, the online banking. And the baby boomers don't have any other name. They are just the baby boomers, right? Like, imagine the baby boomers were the hippies before, right? So, and they are currently- It's a low, it's a low. Peace and love, exactly. All right, so, <laughs> and they are between 56 to 74 years old now, all right? Very good, that could be our parents. All right, and then we have, after the baby boomers, we have the generation X, all right? Which are our older brothers or son of our parents too, all right? So who wants to help me to read this one? Hello, hello? Hi, Mimi. Mimi? Oh no, Vanessa, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Vanessa then. Okay. Shaping events, end of the Cold War, Gold War, fall of Berlin Wall, the rise of personal computing. Very good. Media consumption, Gen X still reads newspapers, magazine, listens to the radio, and watches TV about 165 hours worth of TV a month. However, they are also digitally savvy and spend roughly seven hours a week on Facebook, the highest of any generation cohort. Banking habits. Since they are digitally savvy, Gen X will do some research and financial management, 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 management. online. Management. This word always, it's difficult to me to say. No. Management yes. online, but it still prefer to do transactions in person. They believe banking is, is a person-to-person -person business and demonstrated brand lo lo loyalty. Loyalty, all right? So yeah, it's true, right? And you can actually see that in your parents. So like, for example, my mom, She's just like, uh, I want to buy something like a new product, right? And I said like, mom, look, I have this new product with a new brand. She's like, no, I don't like any other brand. I am going to use only this specific brand, right? Have you ever heard that from your parents? Yes, my mom. mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. Oh, you are I like that, Daniel? Yes, I am. You say I see. <laughs> that's that's the way I am. All right, very good. Yeah. I pre I prefer the 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 old knowledge, lo viejo conocido que lo nuevo por conocer, ¿cómo es? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. All right, and this is also the the generation X. It's also known in the United States, of course, as the NTB generation because of the things we were saying before, right? So we're talking about like when NTB appear in around the 80s all right so let's see what's the next one right here the next one the next one will be here what happened okay here it is there you go millennials or the generation y all right, so those are the people who were born between 1980 and 1994 or 96. All right, so uh, maybe you can help me with this one, Ivan. Uh, Read? Yes, please. Okay, shipping events. Nine uh, slash, right? You say 911. Uh, 911 only, okay. Mm -hmm. Shipping events, 9-11, the great recession, the technology explosion on the internet and social media. Media consumption, media consumption 
95% still watch TV. But Netflix ejects out traditional cable as cable. the preferring. Excuse? Cable. 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 As the preferred provider core cutting in no, favor no, no. of streaming. Excuse? Excuse me, I'm sorry if I interrupt you, it's because I want to change the, the pronunciation. It's provider. Provider. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Provider core coaching in favor on streaming service is the popular choice. This generation is extremely comfortable with the mobile mobile devices, but 32% will still use a computer for purchase. Right. They typically have they typically have multiple social media accounts. Banking habits. Banking habits, millennials have less a brand loyalty the previous generations. They prefer to shop products and the features. Features. Right? Features. Features first and have little passion for anything or poor service. Because of this, millennial place their trucks in brands with superior products histories such as people, uh, excuse me, such as Apple and Google. They seek the digital tools to help manage their depth and they see their banks and transactionals as a position of opposed. Mm -hmm. Excuse? Opposed. opposed. Opposed as opposed to relational. Thank you very much. Exactly, right? This is our generation, right? So yeah, we watch TV, but we don't watch traditional TV. We like to watch Netflix, all right? So we watch movies or series or any kind of TV show that is available or Netflix or other platforms such as Prime Video or so on, right? Uh, yeah, we have little patience. We, as I said before, we want everything to be done quickly. And that's why we use technology to avoid making lines. Because for example, um, you know, I remember when I went to university a long time ago, I had to 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 line up at the bank and wait for hours to make the payment from the universities, right? Nowadays, I can just go to my online banking app, right? And I just pay from my cell phone and that's it. So it saves my time, right? So thank you, right? Teacher, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but how old are you? Huh? How old are you? Well, how old? I will answer that question with a comment. With a question, perhaps. How old do you think I am? <laughs> you, let me see. you look young, but when you said a long time ago at the university, <laughs> like you, like you. It's because 30 it's, years. it's because it's true. It was a long time ago. I graduated like. Imagine I graduated like 10 years ago. Like uh for the university or the or the high school. From university. <laughs> I graduated 10 years ago from university. So 35, 30 in 30 years. In my 30 year list. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah you say a long time ago at the university, come on. <laughs> a long time ago, it was like, let me see, 2000, um, what, 2010, perhaps, 2008, 2009, that's a long time. 2009. It's like more I, than from the university and in twenty eighteen. Huh? Years ago. Yeah, I graduated from university ten years ago in two thousand thirteen. I was I was graduating in the high school in those in that year. <laughs> you make your numbers there, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, excellent. So yeah, now you know that I am right when I said long time ago, right? 
Mm-hmm. It's true, oh, right? God. So, but you know what happens is like I love this um app called Zoom because it says like you know you can actually add some filters that cover the imperfections. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's just go with the next generation here, which is the Generation Z, which are like the young people nowadays, right? But they are they were born between 1996 and 97 until 2012 and 2015, close to the times when I graduated from university. All right, so um, who can help me with this one? Daniel, Erica, Jamie, I don't know, someone? Hello, hello. Erica. Everybody, one para one para me, the other one Daniel, and the next one Jamie. No, I'm gonna be all of them for you. No. Okay, shopping events, COVID pandemic, smartphones, social media, never knowing that country not not at work. And seeing the financial struggles of the parents. Financial. <laughs> fin financial. But uh, not war, mm, Russia, and what is the other one? Well, actually, actually, that is not that is not our um, generation. Actually, it will be the next one, basically. Ah, the the, the generation one. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so okay. But yeah, okay. you're right. So you know the Russian uh, word can apply to this one. Yeah. Okay, Daniel, go ahead for the next paragraph. Oh, everybody has been reading all of them. Uh, okay, uh, media cons con consumption, mm -hmm. consumption. The average young sir just received their first mobile phone at age okay. ten point three point three years. Many of them grew up with playing with their parents' mobile phones or tablets. They have grown up in the hyper-connect world, and the smartphone is a preferred me method of communication. On average, they spend two hours a day on their mobile device. I don't think but that's... But in-house. <laughs> Many of that. Yeah. Banking habits. This generation has seen the struggle of millennials and has set up a more fiscally, mm -hmm. fiscally, fiscally conservative approach. A over 50% have not entered the bank branch in at least three months. Okay. Yeah, that's me. The last I'm sorry, what, what does the, the, the last sentence is, what does it mean? Branch? Yeah, yeah, no, the, the last sentence is over 50% have not entered the bank, right? Sure. It says like, más del 50% no ha entrado a un banco, a una sucursal de un banco en los últimos tres meses. <laughs> that is not necessary. You can do it everything on the internet. Yes. Actually, in the vivienda, in the, the vivienda van, yeah, it is van. unnecessary to go to the store. You can do it on your phone. Yeah, yeah, but don't get mad. People yeah. like to go to the back. All right. So, yeah, it's true, and I couldn't agree more with you. You know what happens here, Erica? You uh, you see it in that way because you are, um, you know, a millennial who is used to um, technology, right? The same as me. So, the last time I went to a bank, it was like maybe two years ago. And because I have to sign some paperwork, other I mean, just because of that. Otherwise, um, I haven't gone to the I mean, gone back to the back uh, to the bank anymore. But yeah, nowadays, you know, it's easier to use the bank apps just to like make any transaction, right? So I couldn't agree more with you, all right? It's not necessary to go to the bank. So yeah, actually, this year, sorry, sorry, uh, one year ago, almost like that. I worked in a bank, so I remember I received a lot of uh, young people telling me that I, telling me like, 
I did it online, so I'll just check in and give you the, the information what you need, and that's it. And they prefer to receive the, how to say it, uh, el depósito de la cuenta, the, the, el crédito. No be it. like direct deposit. Direct deposit from the credit, from the debt. So, and actually I did it too. Everything is online because my, um, oh my God, my Constancia Salarial, I received it online on PDF, PDF. That's true. Like that, that, yeah. that is called a salary letter. Your yes. salary okay. letter, like this one. Where is it? Like that. Salary letter. Like that. All right, it's in the chat, so you can see it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Like, you know, I remember, for example, when I where I was working before, eh, I used to receive every every payday um, a piece of paper with the details of my payments. Mm, currently, I'm still working at the same place. And I receive my um, the same information, but on my mail. Right. So which is better, I guess. All right. So then thank you for sharing that. Let's just continue with this one right here. And now we have the generation alpha, you know, so uh, which are like the people who was born after 2013 until now, when all of them are currently under seven years old and they have no other names, just the generation alpha. They just live their life after the, um, the life post COVID pandemic. And perhaps they will be able to see new technology, right? Um, they since they are kids, we don't know any, many many things about them yet. So, but they they will grow up having their own devices from a young age, and I can tell that for sure, right? Because um, you know, I can see that in my house with my daughters. Um, everything is gonna be touch screen, you know. So it's it's true right here. Like, let me see who's the youngest person in the class right here. I guess it was Adriana. I guess if I'm not wrong. Or mm. how are you, Diana? It's 23, but 23. Uh, I have the same age of Joman. <laughs> oh, Joman. Okay, Joman and Adriana are the same age. Okay, cool. All right, so Joman and Adriana, have you ever seen and used a typing machine? Uh, <laughs> in, my, in my home when I was a child, uh, they have a, a typing machine, but I, with my sister, when we we were child, <laughs> we used it to to play. Oh, to play! So never you never work on that one. Never um try to use it. No, we we use it like a toy. <laughs> okay, imagine. <laughs> I, I was able to use that when I was a little kid because in my school, they told me that I had to present some projects typing on those things. I hated it because if I made a mistake, I had to start all over again. That was crazy. I really I disliked that one. And with the computers, it was easier. You made a mistake, you corrected, copy and paste, modify everything, and then just print it. That's it. I love computers. All right. So that's, that's it. That's it. Let's see what's next right here. So we are about to like finish with this one here. Question, 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 everybody. Question, 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 question. So let's see. All right, take a look. Let's see if you pay attention to the information we were discussing, ladies and gentlemen. What is the oldest living generation today? Generation Z, X, the silent generation, or the millennials? What is the oldest living generation today? Uh huh. Boat, 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 boat. Three, two, one. Time's up. Let's see. Oh, only three people participated. Let's see here. 
Uh oh, people. I'm going to start it again. Everybody, please participate because I only received three answers and we are more than 10. Okay, one more time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the oldest living generation? Generation Z, Generation X, Silent Generation, or Millennials? Five people have participated. The reloj. The watch. All right, so. Excuse me. <laughs> uh <-huh>. The watch <laughs> sound. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, let's see. More people participated. And yes, you are completely correct. The oldest generation, the oldest living generation are the silent generation. All right. Thank you very much. Next question. Let's see. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Daniel is winning the first play. 30 seconds. New question. You're going to be, what is the name of your generation? According to what we just reviewed. Okay, six seconds. Time's up. Let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's see. Oh my God, so Daniel is the one winning, followed by Adriana, right? And I have a Generation Z, I have a Generation X, and I have a lot of millennials in the class. Oh my God. All right, so let's just go on this one. Next, 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 next. Go, 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 go. What is the generation being born? Remember that las generations tenían otros nombres. So, ¿cuál era ese nombre? También, ¿a qué generación se, se refería when it says the be more? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. It says right here. The generation alpha, it's the one, exactly, right? The being born, la generación naciente. That's what it says right here, right? Very good. Thank you, thank you. The next one, the next one, essential question. How does the world see you as a generation? All right, so how does the world see you as a generation? This is a question when you need to enter the information there. All right, so, ¿cómo ve el mundo? Uh, ¿cómo, no, ¿Cómo el mundo ve? Te vea como generación. I mean, de tu generación. ¿Cómo te ve el mundo? What's the opinion that the, the world has about your generation? Good, bad, etc. Right? Let me see some of your answers right here. Uh-huh. What is it? Yes, yes, yes. How does the world see you as generation, people? Lazy. Lazy. Oh, my God, Vanessa. Uh -huh. What else? For example... My generation, my generation is a hybrid generation. A what? Hybrid generation. Why would you say that? Uh, because um, I, want, I want to use... No, no. I first uh, I use um a mobile uh, I'll say the, the less complicated and I I I evolution to uh, a smartphone. Okay, so you can say like I I, I, I started using smartphones. 
Typing machine. I use um, typing machine, and I I I I use actually a uh, computer on a or computer. a tablet. Oh, yes. I see what you mean. So you're saying that you are hybrid because you were using something different before, and now you are using something completely different than before. Yeah, but that is actually a characteristic from your generation. You went through all those technology changes in your life, right? So that's true. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So we have, okay, so Daniel says like, you know, a generation who saw all the changes in technology. Vanessa says, lazy. You're talking about millennials, Vanessa? <laughs> oh my God, that's a yes, <laughs> right? So very good, excellent. So let's see, what's the next, the last one right here? Okay, so let's see here. It's a video to see if you can talk about this video later. It's a short one. Can you hear that? I'm not. No. no. I guess this is not working properly. Right. Sorry, we're going to skip the video because this is not working properly, all right? So don't worry. Oh, it's actually translated, by the way. All right, so like that. One quick second. All right, so let's see, let's see. What else can I do to improve this one? Okay, okay. Bear with me one moment, please. One moment, okay. I guess this can help me. One quick second, please. I'm trying to fix this quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. So let's see. Nothing yet? No. Hmm. No. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong here with this one. Okay, got a double microphone, but not the sound from the video. All right. How could you do that? Let's do something. Um, can someone help me to to share the video on their screen? Perhaps my computer is not actually helping me with this one. If I send the link to the group, can someone help me and share the video? Hello. I can help you. All right. Who said that, Vanessa? Yes. All right. Let me go for that right now. I'm sending you this right now. I'm going to send it right now here to the chat. Thank you, Vanessa. The 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 link is on the well, this the, the chat here in Zoom. Okay.
Can you hear? Um, a little bit. Thank you very much for sharing that, uh, for helping us sharing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, that was actually, you know, basically the same ideas that we were just discussing, right, uh, during the presentation, but they were said by people from different generations, right? Did you see how kids, they said, we are more creative, right? So we have better knowledge about technology, et cetera. But the last guy, the old guy who was at the end of the video said something important. So he said, our generation changed everything because he might be um, generation X who went through different changes, et cetera, et cetera, right? So thank you very much for sharing that. Now you're wondering, what are we going to do next? Well, I have something for you here, people. Yes, 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 absolutely, all right? So I'm just sharing this one. Oh, there's, that's it, this one. Okay, so we have here something called role plays. Role plays, role plays, role plays, role plays. Let me see if you can see them. Yeah, right? Can you see that? Hello, hello? Yes. Oh, great, excellent. Yes, so yes. We are going to work in role plays, which it means that we are going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to perform the role plays. You know, a role play is basically when you uh, act it out, all right? So when you pretend you're like imagining a situation and you're creating dialogues and create all the things that you're going to say. So for example, this one, it says here, role plays playing scenarios about millennials. It says like, you are on break. So you might be working, but you are on break catching up with on a few things at your desk. What is catching up, people? Do you remember this phrasal verb, catching up? Like update or not? 
like updating, right? Como actualizando, poniéndose al día. Actually, that's how we can translate it, all right? You know, you are on break, catching up with a few things on your desk. You text a friend a short note saying you will meet him at the movies that night. Soon, an older co-worker appears and tells you that you are not supposed to play on your phone while at work. What do you say to this person? Imagine that is one of the role plays that you can perform. So for example, uh, imagine I have I am on my phone right now. So I'm just like, you know, sending a message. Hey, Fulanita, I will see you, um, you know, at the movies uh, later tonight. Bye. And I just sent the message. And then Ivan saw me. And Ivan will say like, hey, what are you doing? You know, it's not possible to check your phones while you're working. The rule says, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you're going to invent that scenario. Is this clear, people? What I'm just, what I just said right now? Hello, hello? Hello? Mm, for me, not teacher. It's not That's Vanessa, right? Vanessa. All right. Yeah. We are on this one right now. So this is a role play. To begin with, people, have you ever done role plays before or not? No. No, never. No, never. No? Please confirm. Say yes or no. No, teacher. Oh, okay. No worries. I'm sorry. I believe that you have experience with this one already. No, teacher. A role play. A role play, it's just like when I am going to work with a friend and we create an, a scenario and we create the phrases that we're going to say, we invent, we make them up, right? So, but what I'm going to talk about this one is very simple. I'm going to uh, use the information I have here. It says right here. So for example, Vanessa, can you help me reading the information from the paragraph again? Okay, you're on break, catching up of uh, a few things at your desk. Uh -huh. You text a friend, a friend, a short note saying you'll meet him at the movies that night. Soon, an older coworker appears and tells you that you're not supposed to play on your phone while at work. What do you say to this person? Okay, excellent. So now, do you understand what? This is telling me, um, this is telling us on the um, paragraph? Yes. All right, so that's the scenario. So you're going to be working in couples, okay? You're going to be working in couples in the breakup room. And let's say, for example, Vanessa, you and I are working together, okay? I am going to be the person with the phone on my hands right now. And you, Vanessa, are going to be the person who is is calling me because I'm using my phone. Understand now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's try it. Okay, Vanessa, I am on my phone right now. So you're supposed to tell me something. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. For what reason are you using your cell phone? Vanessa, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just saying hi to a friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> then you, you will have more time to think about possible answers. <laughs> but you understood now, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. So, yeah, it's like La Rosa de Guadalupe in English. All right. So, let's see this one right here. Uh, then we have this one right here. This is another one. You can select, no, you have two options to perform this one or this one. You are going to choose one scenario and then that's the one you're going to take and you know be dramatic and everything else right there. The second scenario says you are eating lunch in the break room when you overhear a couple of older co-workers saying, well, we mean I said all right. So and another co-worker says it's a closed case, all right, which is like a secret. So you wonder what to do, considering you might have a et cetera. Uh, and it's not your business. Like, for example, uh, we can change this one 
let me just change this word so I don't want to have anybody here offended. All right, so this one, we're going to change it right here and we're going to add the word here, weird. All right, so let's see here. You know what is this one? You know what is the word weird, people? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, excellent. So this is this one. You are so weird. You know, so it's muy raro. You have to what know, is a co-worker dice, uh, what is that? It's a close, it's a close, it's a weird case. It's, um, let's just change this one right here. Sorry, I didn't see that before. All right, so we can go this one and we can change this one here to say it's a weird though. Weirdo es como un nickname, como un apodo que se le da a la tipo como rarito, you know? If you want to say it like that, weirdo. Strange, stranger. <laughs> Ajá, así como, but a stranger sería una persona que I don't know, right? Y en cambio, weirdo sería una persona que me parece raro aún sin conocerla, you know? Like a freaky. Like a freaky, correct. Considering you have many weirdo freaky. friends, all right? So... This is not because it's incorrect, but some people might feel uncomfortable with the word over there, so I prefer to avoid it. All right, so let's go on this one. So imagine uh, I am eating here. For example, it's a role play can be with people working in couple in groups of three. I am eating here, and then Ivan le dice a Joelman, Joelman, look at that guy. He's weird. Mm -hmm. And then Joelman says like, hi, hey, yes, he's freaky. He's a weirdo. He's crazy. Right, it says like gossiping. Entonces, like, then I had to say, like, excuse me, Ivan, what are you talking about me? No, 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 relax, no problem. Now, why are you saying that I am weird, huh? You know, and you go like that one, understand? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome, awesome, you awesome, got it. awesome. All right, very good. I am going to send this image right now to the, um, to the group, right? So you can see this here, all right? Uh, and then we are going to go to the breakup rooms. Understand? Okay, one second. One week, wait, wait, wait a second here. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Let's go to the breakup rooms right now. Rooms. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, everybody here. Let's go to the breakout rooms. We are right now, how many participants? So we can go to like six here. Okay, everybody, go to the breakup rooms. All right. And I will send the image here in the group. One second. Okay. Okay, let's see. No. Hello, hello. So we don't have enough time. <laughs> Volunteer number one. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have enough time. You're going to be the first one then. Um, why are you using yourself on, that, in, on classes? <laughs> I'm... 
I'm just sent send a message <laughs> from, for, for my mother. <laughs> Why? Your mom is okay or not? Yes, it's okay. I'm I'm just I'm just uh, asking how are how are she? How is she? How is she? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> how is she? Okay. Mm. Are you sure? One second. <laughs> so you were supposed to be with someone here. Okay. Let me actually. Yeah, I'm alone. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, go to another room, no problem. Hello, Jamie. There isn't. Jamie. There isn't. Jamie. <laughs> She's not. Oh my God. She's not. Help. Check it. <laughs> uh huh. You better start right now, Erica and Jolomon, because you're going to be the first one here. It's, it's loading. I think it is. Jolomon, who do you want to be? And the first paragraph. The person with the phone or the other one? Jolomon. Jolomon. Huh? Or Jamie, I don't know. The who else is here? The first one. Hello? Yeah, the first one. So you are with the phone? Yes. Mm. Um, okay. Mm. I'm gonna be the other one. Okay, you're sending the text. Hi, Jamie. I'm gonna tell to our boss that you are playing with your phone at work. <laughs> <laughs> There is, no, there is no like you thinking I have a necessary for that I use it but we have uh, we don't we don't have to use it on the board that's the whole <laughs> but you are in my boss <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was a good one. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I can tell to our boss that you're playing with your phone. Okay, I'm going to I going to get your idea, but in this time I need me use it. Okay. We are working. We don't have permission to use your phone. Okay, but you uh, you must be on the phone then. <laughs> <laughs> but you're playing. What are you playing? What? I what like are you it. playing? You are definitely a natural boss. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you playing, Jamie? Okay, 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 okay. So we are just waiting for everybody else to join the class again. Yes, teacher. Hello, hello. Just six participants here. 
Here's everybody else. All right, awesome. Welcome back, everybody else. So yes, we are we are about to finish the class for sure, right? But I need a couple of volunteers there. Who wants to be my first volunteer? Come on, people, quickly, so we can leave right now, <laughs> right? Who's my volunteer? Uh huh. Hello. Hello, hello, people. Hello. Ah, volunteer. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Who are you going to be working with? I just say hello. <laughs> I just hop in. <laughs> Who are you working with? I can't believe it. <laughs> no. Oh, with Edgar. <laughs> yes, with Edgar. Okay, Hector and Erica. Okay, Hector. So you're checking your phone, right, Hector? Sorry, teacher. You are checking your phone, right? And Erica is the boss. My boss. Mm -hmm. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Erica, you were working with who was it, Adriana or Fatima? I don't remember. Jamie. Oh, Jamie, any of them. All right, so. Jamie? Okay, go ahead. Erica and Jamie, action. <laughs> Jamie, what are you doing with your phone? <laughs> oh, it's not that you are thinking. Uh, I use it because I have a necessary. And what do you think I'm thinking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> I saw you using your farm. Are you playing? No, I'm not play. Uh, uh, I wasn't playing, but I was using because I have a lot I need to, uh, to take too much of it, but I know I know you to use it. So what you was doing, because we don't have permission to use the phone at work. Oh no, we don't have permission, but you must be understanding about this topic. But you were using your phone. You just can't use your phone at lunch. What? You just can't use your phone at lunch. Yes, I know it. Uh, in the next time, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... But now it's not lunch time. It was uh, unnecessary. So, um, I don't have another option. <laughs> My apologies. I'm going to try on doing again. You can use your phone only if it is a, an emergency. Okay. If if there is an emergency, uh, neither. What? Is yes, in emergency or not in emergency? You can use your phone only in an emergency. Yes, because I see, I, I tell you that it was an emergency. Mm -hmm. right. I don't believe you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank you very much, girls. You did it wonderfully. So thank you, I truly appreciate it. So you were doing good, 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 good. All right, so thank you, thank you. All right, so that's actually what a role play is. Okay, so now people that I see that you're not familiar with role plays, we're gonna have role plays more often in the classes, depending on the topic, of course, right? All right, so, but yes. So people, I wanna thank you very much for joining uh, the classes during this week, all right? So you were doing a very good job in every single class. Um, now, yes, I can promise you no more millennials topic anymore right so we're going to move forward to a different one and um, 
Remember, so the next week, uh, according to, um, well, my understanding, it's that the next week is the last week, right? Yes. Okay, yes, so yes. complete the the task, the homework that you have assigned. Do the test, please, because some of you haven't done not even the first test, people. So please do the test, do the homework, complete all the activities. And um, well, I, I'm just going to stop right here. If you have any questions before we leave, no questions? No, no, no teacher. All no, right, so no. have a wonderful night. Have a nice weekend, people, and I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. See, you. see you. Bye. -bye. Good night. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Bye, Jamie. Bye, Joe, man.